Hi everybody, I had a couple of requests to take a look at some of these problems with uh, arc measure with equations. So let's take a look at the four practice problems that I got here. Um, if we take a look at this first one, we're supposed to find the measure of arc YZ in degrees. Well, YZ is this arc right here. You cannot find the measure of that arc until you find W. And you can't find W until you realize what equation you need to set up with W in order to solve for it. So if we take a look, W appears in two different spots. It appears in this expression, 11W, and appears in this expression, 5W plus 4. Well, 11W is representing this arc because this is a central angle. We know central angles are the same as their arcs that they intercept to create. And we know that 5W plus 4 represents this arc YZ. Well, if you combine those two arcs, you can see that those two arcs happen to create a semicircle. And a semicircle is half of a circle. And if it's half a circle, that means it's 180 degrees. So those two angles, those two arcs have to come together to make 180. So our equation for this one should be 5W plus 4 plus 11W equals 180. We combine like terms over here, 5w plus 11w is 16w plus 4 equals 180. I subtract the 4 over, 16w equals 176, and if I divide, I get w equals 11. Now unfortunately, if I go type in 11, that is not going to be the correct answer because they didn't want w, they wanted yz. So I've got to take this 11, i got to plug it in right here. 5 times 11 is 55, plus 4 gets me... Uh, 59. So I go to my box here. I type in 59. I scroll up, check my answer. Hey, look at that. Got it. Okay, next one. Now with this one, we've got three different arcs that we're looking at. Again, we want to find the measure of arc ACD. So we're going all the way around this thing. ACD. Well, I can't find ACD until I find arc AD right here. Then I can just subtract that from 180. I can't find those arcs until I find X, and I can't find X until I set up the equation. Now, as we can see here, I've got three arcs that we're working with here. I've got 7X plus 1, I've got this 90 degree arc right here, and I've got 9X minus 7. Those three arcs come together to make this semicircle down here. So in this case, I'm not just adding those two, I'm adding all three of them. So 7X plus 1 plus 90 plus 9X minus 7 equals 180 because it creates a semicircle. I combine my like terms, 7x plus 9x is 16x, 1 plus 90 minus 7, well 1 plus 90 is 91, 91 minus 7 is 84, so that gets me 84 equals 180, I subtract over 84, 16x equals 96, and if I divide by 16 I get x equals 6. Now again, that's not my answer, I got to take this and plug this in, 7 times 6 plus 1, it gets me 43, but that even isn't even my answer because 43 is this arc right here. I need everything but that arc. My answer comes by taking 360 minus 43, and that's 317. So let's go up here. Let's type in 317, and we got that one. All right, next question. Okay, this one. I've got all three of these expressions that all represent N. I've got to find BC. Well, again, can't find BC until we find N. Can't find N until you realize the equation that we got to set up. All three of these arcs, all three of them, boom, boom, boom. They all make the entire circle. So I need to combine all three of these and get the circle. Plus 6N plus 7N plus 12, and an entire circle is 360 degrees. Combine like terms, 13n plus 6n plus 7n, that gets me 26n. Negative 16 plus 12 is negative 4 equals 360. Add the 4 over, 26n equals 364. I divide by 26, and kids, I'm smart, I'm not that smart. 364 divided by 26 gets me 14 for n. They want me to find bc, so I take that 14 and plug it into here. 6 times 14 gets me an answer of 84. So I go to my box, 84, got it. All right, 3 for 3. Last question for me. All right, if you take a look at these two, we're supposed to find the measure of our BDC. So BDC is this right here. Start at B, go around to D, stop at C. BDC is everything but this arc right here. So if I find BC and then subtract from 360, I'll get my answer. Can't find BC till I find K. Can't find K till you set up an equation. Now, if you notice, K appears here and here. Hopefully at this point in your mathematical careers, you know that those two angles are vertical angles, and we know that vertical angles are congruent. So I've got to set 4K plus 159 equal to 2K plus 153. 
I got to get my Ks on the same side. So let's subtract 2K over. That gets me 2K plus 159. Oops. 159 equals 153. Subtract over 159. I get 2K equals negative 6. Divide by 2, and that gets me K equals negative 3. I take this negative 3. I plug it into here. That's 4 times negative 3 is negative 12 plus 159. Negative 12 plus 159 is 147. I can confirm that I did that correctly by plugging that into here uh, as well. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Negative 6 plus 153 is also 147. But again, I don't want 147. That's not my answer. To get my answer, I take 360 minus 147. And when I subtract those two, I get myself an answer at 213. All right, so 4 for 4. So hopefully that helped you guys out quite a bit. If you have any more questions, please call, email, text me, whatever it is. Um, send me a message on Google Classroom. If you need help, do not hesitate to ask. Thanks, guys.